Hey, it's around here. In this tech tutorial, we're gonna show you how to make it so your website can be in multiple languages. So if somebody has a little drop down or a widget, they could choose the language. And with that one click, it will translate your website. Now my VA is gonna show you how to do that and set it up using a specific website. That website is free, but there is something that I need to, you to be aware of on how that works. I have seen people build websites where they use the different features of the website, such as the text, and the headlines and all that stuff should automatically translate. However, sometimes people use things like an image and put text inside the image. So the text inside the image is not going to automatically translate because it's a picture. It's not the actual native text of the website. So you just have to be aware there's gonna be some variables. It's not necessarily gonna translate everything depending on how you have things set up. Now I'm gonna show you an example of how to set it up specifically with system IO, like the integration at the end but the actual tutorial is applicable to any website. It doesn't matter if you're using WordPress, Kajabi, Zendler, Squarespace, it doesn't matter which you use, as long as you can embed an HTML code, you'll be able to set up this particular Google Translate widget. So all that's gonna be shown by my VA. Just wanted to manage expectations so you know what to do afterwards as well. And if you're not seeing it translate in some places, that's why it's probably an image and that's why. So with that said, I do recommend you watch the video, follow the instructions, go to that website. It will be linked in the description as well. And make sure you test it on incognito window once you've actually embedded the code and the widget so you can see if it actually worked on your website the way it did. If it did, please leave a comment below with the word it worked. I'd love to know from you that this video was helpful. And that's about it. I'll turn it over to my VA so you can go and watch and how to set it up. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon. Hey everyone, using this language selector widget in your website is very easy. First of all, you'll need to go to the website gtranslate.io slash website translator widget. Afterwards, you'll get an interface like this and then you'll be able to select your widget look translate form. So widget look is going to be how your widget is actually going to look like. So we have float widget here, which is kind of looking like this. And we can change this widget as we want. As you can see, we have lots of options, but not all of the options are looking good so let me demonstrate some of the options so we're going to select flags and afterwards we're going to have to update the preview and as you can see now these flags are your widgets so it's pretty straightforward and it's not looking fancy so let's select globe and then update the preview and then your widget will look like this then we're going to have to select the globe and these are all the languages that will come up and after globe we have let's select pop-up so then we'll have a pop-up widget which will look like this and as you can see we're going to be able to select the languages but for now let's just go with the float widget and click on update and then we have translate from so if your website is english then we're going to select english and if your website is any other language from this list then you're going to have to select that language so primarily which language you're translating from then we have translate to we already have four languages you can add more language if you want so let's add a dutch language as you can see i've added another language so you can translate to all five of these languages then if you are a premium user you can also select the url structure so uh, there are no url structures right now but if you are a premium user then you can uh, add subdirectory so suppose this is your website you can select slash fr then your website would be translated to french and then on option two you can select fr dot your website then your website will be translated to france afterwards you can also select or deselect the native language names if you select the native language names then your language will be displayed in full instead of en you will be shown english then we have auto switch to browse language. You can also select this or dislike this. We have flag styles. You can select 2D flag styles or 3D flag styles. I'm going to go ahead with 3D. Then we have alternative flags. So we have a United Kingdom flag for English language. You can also select USA flag or Canadian flag if you want. Then we have Spain. So Spanish language, we have Spain flag, you can select Mexico flag, Argentina flag, or Colombian flag. And then we have the position. So uh, right now our widget position is on the bottom left. You can also select it on the bottom right, but we already have something here. So let's select on the top left and update. So as you can see, our widget is now at top left and afterwards you can select open direction. So where your widget will be opened, you can select top, down, right, left, anywhere. So since it's on the top left, we're going to select bottom. So it will open from the bottom, update preview. And as you can see, everything has opened. 
from the bottom. And after you're done with all of the settings, make sure to click on update preview. And then you're going to have to copy this widget code and paste this code in your HTML editor. It's that simple to use this widget into your website. Alright everyone, after widget is fully customized, we have the widget code on the bottom. Now I've created a web page using System.io. So this is the web page here and this is the editor option. So I'm going to select a raw HTML box and then we're going to click on edit code. And we're going to copy this code, use the code here. Afterwards, we're going to click save and then the widget will be integrated into our website. We're going to click save changes and then let's reload the page. So as you can see, the widget has been integrated into our website. All you need to do is copy the code and paste it in your HTML editor and it will be integrated into your website like this. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. So leave a comment below with the word it worked if you managed to install it on your website. And I'd love to know from you as well. If you have additional questions for me, leave a comment below with your questions. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And otherwise, you can watch other tutorials that I have on my channel available, such as how to set up your website policies such as your cookie policy, your privacy policy, your terms and conditions, affiliate disclosure, and all that good stuff, which if you are accepting payments on your website or you're collecting email addresses, you have to have. So there'll be the video right up here. That's about it. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.